But I just, I think, thought it was so awesome because I told my friend about you. We used to live in California. And, oh. I know, and we moved, we were looking where we were going to move. Yeah. And I was learning how to be sustainable. And um, we bought an Orofino. You know Orofino Oh, yeah. Is? Yeah, Orofino. Yeah. And so um, it was too far out. Really? Yeah. It is. We still it is hard. To work. It is, yeah. And so we were like, oh, my gosh. There's just, there is, there's just not enough work. And um, so we ended up having to come to Coeur d'Alene. Wow. And now you just. So there goes the donut lady, and um, we were just stopped by her, and we had about a half-hour conversation. She is a, a starry watcher from way back, and she actually left California to come out here to Idaho, oh, actually a little town of Orofino, and she watched all my canning videos. She learned how to can. Um, she's got a pantry. She's all set up, but she said when they moved to Orofino, it was so far out in the country that it was just too hard to live there. So now she's in Coeur d'Alene. She said they had a very successful business in California, and she said just before this COVID st struck, she had to, they had to leave, and they 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 basically have only one business now, Coraline, and it's Slim Pickings. And I told her though, I said, you know what? You got to remember, God brought you here for a reason. He got you out of California. He, you know, you have the property in Orofino. You've got a place now in Coeur d'Alene. And she said, well, yeah, it's a fixer-upper. And, and she says, I'm beginning to see that even though things are, are, you know, they lost a lot of income because of COVID. But she's like, and I, but they're where they need to be. And she just said this whole COVID thing has changed everything. She understands the agenda. She gets the agenda. And she says she is so blessed that years ago she watched starry videos, her and her husband. And she says her husband is the real, the real prepper, the real homesteader. And um, she's just, she's really excited. She's really excited. So we had a, we had a great conversation and um, we got a picture of her, but isn't that exciting? Oh yeah, yeah. And, and she didn't know I was in Idaho and she said, are you coming back? And I said, you know what? I know that feeling of not being prepared and like time is running out, but God is sending me still to Colorado to, for, for abundance there so I can give and, and get back spiritually. And then I'm praying. I mean, this is just confirmation. Just talking to her again, too. Like, you need to come back. And it's all good. It's all good. And my sister got to witness it. Another great encounter. Yeah. Another great she's encounter. Very sweet lady. Very sweet. She said, she's come on over and get some donuts. She said she can't, she can't talk to anybody about God. Yeah. Except for family. There's nobody around yeah. that she can share that with. And she says people are, are walking around in such fear that you can't even oh, yeah. talk about Christ coming. You can't talk. But she says, I have such peace. And I said, that's the peace that we have. Yeah. Because we, we know what's been prophesied and we're not afraid. We're not afraid. We just need to keep preparing. Yeah. And she said, that's, and she said, I have all my, I watch those canning videos. And she said, I, and I, I have all my canning goods in the basement. Yeah. And um, so praise the Lord, yeah. you know, how God brings us a, a vessels. To, oh, yeah. to teach and uh, so that was that was that was a blessing for me tonight oh yeah that was yeah. a blessing for you yeah it always yeah. is yeah, yeah. yeah. So, anytime you meet somebody that loves the Lord and yeah. shares what you share and she said you know one body of Christ and that's the important thing is there's such yeah. division right now it's important and you know and she sees the importance of staying together as one body and that's what we got to do. We have to stay together as one body, and we have to plant seeds. Yeah. She says, "I see where we have to be bold for Christ, and we have to, we have to keep speaking up." So there you go, my friends. Farmer Market in Coeur d'Alene, and another random encounter, another random starry encounter. She says, "I don't know what to call you, Star or Stacy, but it's Stacy." What you? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't make any difference. Your name is Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> so all right, my friends. God bless, and remember, love thy neighbor. We're all in it together.